Hello childrens, welcome back to my channel. So, this session only nothing but in this video, I'll be taking the MCQ questions from the chapter light reflection and refraction. Okay, and the physics important MCQ questions called do. If you have any part, mardi dini, you will not only answer that. Just go and watch it in my YouTube channel. Okay, so part one and part two both in the both part only. So I have uploaded the MCQ questions. very important mcq questions based on the chapter electricity and other okay now coming to this chapter light reflection and refraction chapter a light reflection refraction chapter ella questions galannu new adashtu topics galannu new kalthiri ella questions galu annodkinta topics galannu thalli ittkondidre whatever i will say now adu nimma thalege hogutte annodu if you don't know the topic means if i said right now here nan iga helidru kuda nimge artha agala okay now coming back to the questions Identify the emergent ray in the given figure. I'll just uh, okay zoom more to this. So you need to find the emergent ray here. A B is called as the incident ray, and C D is called as the that is nothing but the emergent ray. So C D is the answer. So therefore, the first option is right. So you need to uh, mark the or you need to shade the first option. Question: An object is kept at the center of curvature of a convex lens. The position and the nature of the image formed is, children. Whenever you keep the object in front of the convex lens, okay, convex lens. Especially if you put the object in the center of curvature, the position will be in the two f behind the convex lens. Okay, that is the first point. Two f means nothing but in the center of a curvature behind the convex lens. and the nature will be it will be a, a real image and it will be a inverted image it will be real and inverted and the position will be in the 2f nothing but in the center of curvature so that means the answer will be the position will be the center of curvature and the the nature will be the real and invert okay so the d option is right you need to shade the d option or moving on to the next question when a beam of light traveling obliquely from one medium to another the direction of propagation of light in the second medium changes this phenomenon is known as when light travels from one medium to another medium the light bends that phenomena is called as the refraction of light so the answer will be refraction of light so when light travels from one medium to another medium it takes different direction to travel so therefore that phenomena is nothing but the refraction of light okay so that is what they are asking uh, that is what there in the question when light travels from obliquely from one medium to another medium the direction of propagation of light has the in the second medium has been changed so this phenomenon is known as nothing but the refraction of light okay so first option is right first option you need to take come next question is Identify the correct options of first and second law of refraction of light. Whatever will be the fourth statement, I will say the refraction of light law of refraction of light first. Afterwards, you only pick the answer, children. So therefore, the law of refraction of light says like this: the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal lies in a one plane. All lies in a same plane. Okay, not in a one plane. It all lies in a same plane. Okay, that is the first law of refraction. refraction of light the second law says the ratio of sin of an angle of incident to the sin of angle of refraction is constant that is a second law of refraction so now whatever i have said the laws of refraction that point will be there in the first and the fourth first matte fourth point alli ide you just absorb maadi alli first matte fourth alli ide so the for which option is right the third option is right so third option new shade mat beko and uh, this is known as the law of refraction and one more thing i'll say now only uh, the fourth point what i have said the ratio of sin of an angle of incident to the sin of an angle of refraction is constant that is also called as the snell's law okay adunu kelbahudu in which of the following media the light will travel very fast compared to the other media that is a question okay so there are some options are there diamond kerosene water and rock salt so if you have absorbed all this refractive index of all these substances water has a less refractive index so that means the light will travel more in that water 
the light will travel very fast in that medium okay so nothing but the in the water so therefore the water is a right answer the third option is correct water next question in each of the following media is an optically denser and optically rare so there are four option is there i'll directly i'll say the answer children kerosene is a denser medium and water is a rarer medium that is your answer children so that means which option is right the first option is right answer ekad the first option alli nimage a answer ide first option is right the next question the ratio of sin of an angle of incident to the sin of an angle of refraction is constant and this law is known as also known as just only i have said the second law of refraction of light is also called as snell's law of refraction that is what there in the question the statement what i have said adhe irontondu hagadre the answer is snell's law of refraction so hagadre the second option is right the second option ge you need to you need to shade next question the eighth one so next question is a ray of light traveling from a kerosene to water speed up the speed up and bend dash and then travel into alcohol slow down and the bend or it will bend the b option which a option you need to write in the first fill, fill up the blanks and which b option you need to write in the second fill up the blanks is the is your question children first ray of light will travel so on light ide travel aagta ide it travel from kerosene to water kerosene to water the travel aad takshana it is it will be speed up and it will be bend because the light travels from one medium to another medium bend aad takshana it away from the normal normal in the dura agutte so it's away from the normal and it will after then after then it will travel to alcohol after passing alcohol it will slow down because the alcohol refractive index will be more so it will slow down and it will bend and it will it will bend and it will move towards the normal okay so that is your answer so the, therefore the fourth option is right so the next question a lens may have a two spherical surface bulging outwards such a lens is called as so bulging outwards means it will be called as that type of lens is called as convex lens children okay so therefore for this question the answer will be convex lens so the second option is right the 10th one a lens may have a two spherical surface curved inwards okay uh, curved inwards this is your question curved inwards such lens is called as now only just we had discussed about convex it will be bulge outwards now it is curved inwards so curved inwards means it should be a concave lens so therefore the answer will be concave lens the first option is right the next question which of the following is an converging lens converging lens always converging lens will be the convex lens lens okay so therefore the fourth option will be correct answer the fourth option you need to pick now converging lens is convex lens diverging lens is concave lens keep these two point in your mind one is about bulging outwards bulging outwards convex curved inwards concave lens converging lens convex lens and the next point diverging lens concave lens okay okay which of the following is a diverging lens now only i have said it should be a concave lens so therefore the first option is right next question so the next question the center of the spherical refracting surface of the lens is called as the center of the spherical refracting surface for example convex a convex or the concave lens is at the center point the center point is nothing but that is called as the pole okay so therefore the pole is the right answer the third option is right you need to mark or you need to shade the third option okay next question the point of an or point on the principal axis at the center of the lens is called now this is the question children is very important the question again i'll just say the question the question is the point 
on the principal axis the point on the principal axis at the center of the lens and it is called as the optical center children a lens has two spherical surfaces these two spherical surfaces form a part of sphere sphere in the on the part agutha i think you know about this so lens thodi on the circle type bareevi okay it forms a sphere it's a part of a sphere the center of these spheres is known as so ಆ ಒಂದು ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಡ್ರೋನ್ ದ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಜ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಜ್ ಚಲನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನರಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ it's a very important and very easy question the imaginary line which passes through see center of a curvature idea adr mel bagadalli it's a imaginary line line which we, if you have drawn what it is called and it is called as the principal axis line children because whenever why i have said this is important means whenever you are writing the uh, ray diagram the first ray will you will write parallel to the principal axis anta heli draw martirla so the answer will be principal axis okay the 17th one the area of the lens suitable for refraction is called and nothing but it is called as aperture okay the area of the lens suitable for refraction is called as nothing but the aperture so next question the point where a beam parallel to the principal axis appears to diverge or converges from a point on the principal axis after passing through the lens is called as and it is called as principal focus okay the 19th one the focal length is the distance between the optical center and the focal point of or focus of the lens is called as okay the focal length is the distance between the optical center and the focal point or focus of the lens called as what children sorry there only they have given the answer uh, just uh, have not observed that the answer is nothing but the focal length because just observe the statement the focal length is the distance between the optical center and the focal point there uh they are, they are they are saying the answer there only okay just i have not observed there uh, so the answer will be focal length focal length answer agirutte so answers alle kotpididare but uh, that statement should be changed so suppose example ithara ena antandre it will be grace marks no no worries okay so moving on to the next question the ray of light from the object parallel to the principal axis after refraction from a convex lens passes through the principal focus again the 18th question what we have discussed 18th uh, yes the same the same question but in a different manner they are asking the ray of light one light ray which passes through the parallel to the principal axis refraction at the mele of the convex lens passes through ill in the pass agutte it should passes through the principal focus children okay so these are all the some questions that i am giving for you people now so the 20 mcq questions based on the chapter life light reflection and refraction